And welcome back to Flashpoint. This is Dan McCready. Remember him? Well, he wrote an opinion piece for the New York Times about what he learned during his election and what Democrats need to do if they want to win in 2020. During September's spe special election, McCready came just short of flipping the 9th district. It had been a district that hadn't elected a Democrat since JFK. So he came surprisingly close. In 2016, the district supported President Trump by almost 12 points. Now, in his op-ed piece, McCready encourages Democrats to, quote, lead with values, promote common sense policies, and don't give up on rural voters. The first part I want to sort of point out here is he says, I also wasn't afraid to share how my faith led me to run and then helped me press on through challenging times as we battled the election fraud. So while I talked about policy, I anchored my candidacy in things that connect us all. In the end, voters told me that they trusted me because they got the real me. It's a great lesson. We have all have our own stories to tell and lead with a heart, and the rest will follow. He later adds, finally, I met voters where they are. We focus not on the daily drama of Washington, but on people's everyday struggles. Luan, I'll begin with you. Your thoughts. I would say most people would characterize you as a different kind of Democrat than Dan McCready yeah. when it comes to some of the major issues of the party. Is he right or wrong? I would agree. It is about authenticity. It is about reaching out to the community and hearing what their concerns are and letting them know who you are. I know when I first ran in 2011, a lot of the concern was around me being the first openly LGBT elected official. Mm. It was completely washed away that I was only the second African American female to be elected to city council after Ella Scarborough. But when I went to doors and talked to people and they learned who I was, the fact that I was open and honest, the fact that I wanted to know what are the issues that are across the city, not just across the district, regarding access to housing, access to quality education, access to a quality job, also not being in fear because we're a right to work state of losing that job because of the relationship that you're in or because of your skin color or your ethnicity. Those are the issues that tie all of us together. It, someone shared with me and I told them I'm going to permanently borrow it. The question that we should be asking is, is it right, is it wrong, or is it different? And we tend to let different automatically be dropped into a wrong category and then we move from that space. I, I think in life that's a, sort of a great thing to go by. Just yeah. because something is different doesn't make it right or wrong. It's just, right. it's just different. different. And we get to be different. Which is great. What, you know. what do you think about McCready? I sort of say, put you and McCready in the same boat. Granted, opposite parties, but, but he's, a, he's a, a Democrat in a very Republican district. He's You're a Republican in a, in, a, in a very Democrat city. Yes. <laughs> too, too big of a Democrat city. <laughs> uh, his, I did not read his article. It's the first time yeah. I've seen or heard of it. Uh, it sounded like a fellow who is desperately missing the opportunity to go run for something. And yeah. it'll be interesting to see what he does. You know, he ran for the congressional seat, District 9, for three years. Yeah. You know, and I think he, um, he's awfully good at campaigning, and he's a nice young man. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see what he does coming forward. And I'm, I'm sure that he is blipping on the radar of people that might be good at... I mean, you know, he could go run for the United States Senate. Can the like Democratic to. Party, though, can the Democratic Party push these progressive values talked about by B Bernie Sanders or AOC and still attract rural voters, which is I believe that about. we no. can push values. It is not a matter of the values that, being progressive. Mean, so my value system, one, I have this personal challenge regarding <laughs> this idea of we're going to run on this compass of morality because your mor moral compass sure. is very different from mine. I, my moral compass says that it is unacceptable to have children taken away from their parents, but people are comfortable with that. Someone else's moral compass will say they don't believe in same-sex marriage, and we have legislation to that. Another person's moral sure. compass will say they believe in pro-life, so and I'm, so, so, not, I'm like, no, you believe in pro-birth. So how do the that people of ALC... What are my values? And the question becomes, how many can I connect with, knowing we are not going to agree on everything? But how many points of interest can we agree on to serve the collective? And how can I come to the table genuine to not only want to hear your concerns, but to share mine? You seem skeptical that the people who support Bernie Sanders, AOC, progressive Democrats, some people who call themselves socialists can 
identify also with rural voters. And I said progressive really is Elizabeth Warren. I'm just going to throw that okay. out there because I'm and, an Elizabeth Warren. Progressive, every time I hear progressive, it's just liberal. Yeah. Really? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I'm all day. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you for saying so. But I knew that coming in. But you knew that. I knew that. No um, No, I, the socialist agenda will not, it probably won't work in Charlotte. Yeah. Um, but it's certainly not going to work in rural North Carolina. And I think it is a very different conversation because the reality is know your audience. So if you are whoever we are, as I'm but now you're making my way down, but Elizabeth, no, it's uh, not about sounding like a politician. It's sounding like someone who's supposed to be aware. Know your audience, whether you're a speaker, whether you're a candidate, whether you are an elected official, whether you're a politician. I, I've never considered myself as a politician. And Luana, I appreciated the other candidates the other night trying to nail Elizabeth Warren down to how she was going to pay for health care. Well, funny you should say. Right, because we Perfect both segue. No idea. Perfect segue. All right, we'll be back <laughs> with that after this.